Hey everybody, Magpie Gaming here. I hope you're all doing well. And in this video, we're going to go through what we know so far about the next map for Escape from Tarkov, which is going to be the military base. And it, there's not a great deal that we do know about it, but the recent podcast that they did has revealed more about this than what we usually get to know about new maps that are coming out for the game. Again, not a massive amount of detail, but as you can see in the background, this is an image that we've got of the map. This is what I saw first before I knew any information out about the map and I originally thought that this was the size of the map now it looks fairly small but I'm thinking do you know what the smaller the map in Escape from Tarkov the better they seem to perform in terms of graphics capability and things like that you get better FPS there seems to be a little less stuttering in them so I thought do you know what it's not that small really it's probably like a good size for a you know a decent close quarters quite intense fighting map and then when I watched the podcast they said that this was just just a chunk of the map so I think this it obviously this is the actual military base and this will be the focal point of the map and probably the rest of the map might resemble like what we have with woods and shoreline you've got a lot of um, rolling countryside and hills and forested areas and things like that and I think the, the military base from the sounds of it is going to be plonked pretty much in the middle of it but you know take that with a pinch of salt don't quote me on that I'm just going on what I think it would probably look like so but yeah it looks pretty good from what we can see on the image we've got one line large tent that runs along the one length of the map you've got a garage area just off to the left of that you've got some vehicles in the middle you've got two buildings there two three-story buildings now if you look at the building in the bottom you'll see that you've got like a bit that you can go out on like an extension you can walk out on and it's got a gun emplacement on it that is another feature of this map it is going to have stationary guns and launchers in place these are going to be rpg launchers as far as i'm aware this is something that we haven't had in escape from tarkov before for fixed weapons it'd be interesting to see how they work you know is there going to be a set amount of ammunition are you going to have to take your own ammunition for them to use them or will you pick up ammunition on the map to use for them or maybe they're just like a lot of weapons that we get in games you know stationary weapons where it's just unlimited ammunition it'll be interesting to see how they're actually going to work the next thing that we know about this map is it's going to feature a new scav boss and this is basically going to be one of the scav raiders and they will actively see to hunt you down they aren't just going to stick to a position by the, by the sounds of it they're going to be quite dynamic in where they can go and what they can do so that's again another interesting mechanic uh, it's, they kind of do that already within the labs you know once they are aware of you they will track you as much as they possibly can so again I think we're going to see a similar type of radar within this map as well they've also said that there's going to be dynamic events taking place on this map now they don't elaborate too much on that within the podcast so what what that actually means you can only speculate is it going to be like maybe weekly events that might take place on there or daily events or is it does it mean dynamic weather i don't know it's going to be a good one you know to see where that goes another interesting part of the podcast was that nikita said there will be no free extractions from this map again he didn't elaborate on what he means by that so he kind of said that you have to collect things to get off the map so there's been a lot of talk recently about key cards being used to access certain certain parts of the labs also key cards being used to actually access labs because act the access that we have to labs currently where we can just join it is going to go soon and it's going to be a limited access map which is as i've said in previous videos a bit disappointing from my point of view but anyway they're saying there's no free exfil on this map so what they mean by that i'm not sure i'm assuming that you have to collect something or you need to take money in with you to pay to get out we'll have to see how that works but nikita says that it's going to be a whole new gameplay experience with this map and i can believe him when he says that because labs came out and was a completely new experience from what we've had previously with the game completely different to any other map it shook up the game massively in the way that it worked especially having to turn on extractions which i think is a really good mechanic on that map it adds another level of i won't say it's fear but trepidation because you don't know if you'll make it to that you know that point to get off because every extract is turned on nowhere near you where you actually extract so you know it's one of those where you've got to turn the garage on and then run the 
gauntlet to try and get in before somebody gets you or the raiders get you and the same with the other extracts as well so it mixes things up good it's you know it's a good way of bringing some more excitement into the game so i'm hoping for more of the same in the military base but for now those is pretty much all that we know about this map hopefully we will get some uh, artwork from it soon we did that they did that with the labs you got some images of what it looked like which were quite startling you know it was nothing like what we expected so i'm looking forward to hearing and seeing more about this map now this map is due to come out with patch 0.12 there's no specific date for that patch right now but it will definitely be within the next couple of months for sure so we'll wait and see what else we find out as soon as i know any more information about this map i will of course let you good guys and girls know about that and that is pretty much it for this video so as always ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching and listening don't forget to like share and subscribe and i will catch you in the next one take care